In this video, we're going to learn about the required keyword in Salty Smart Contract that when you have to use, how you have to use, and what are the conditions you have to follow if you really want to handle error in your smart contract, okay? So let me give this comment. Uh, I'll call it Salty Error Handling. And we're going to use this require statement, okay? All the way, we have three methods to handle error in our smart contract, okay? But in this, we are focusing on the required. In the next video, we're going to focus on other keywords, other ways to handle error in our smart contract, okay? So let's create a contract and we're going to call it required inside that we're going to create a function and we'll say check input okay it will take a unt number from the user and we have to validate that number so public view return and we want to return a string okay and here we have to build the condition okay we have to use this required statement to check for a condition so we use the required keyword and in that we pass condition and message both thing so let's build the condition so whatever input we are getting if that's greater or equal to zero then this is the error message we have to display invalid unt8 and the second check we are doing that if input is less or equal to 255 then we have to simply throw this error message okay and that's the very important thing which you have to keep in mind that requires statement need two argument one the condition and the other one is the result that message you want to display okay so let's provide this bracket so i'm getting an error so let's provide this bracket and that's the check we are doing if someone provide the valid number then we want to simply return the string okay input is unt8 okay so that's the simple function we have written we are taking a number we are doing a couple of check and then we are passing the string okay so let's come here let's try to deploy this contract and let's try to have a look what output we get so here you can see the contract is deployed and here we have the function check input and in that we have to pass the number okay so let's bring the terminal little up up here things looking fine to me now let's provide the number let's call it five and here you can see the transaction went successful and here you can see the input is given five and here we got the output string unt is unt8 okay input is unt8 so that, but if i provide something higher number i'll get the error message you can see invalid unt8 okay and that's the power of the require statement but you always find the cost you are paying because your transaction will get reverted back if the condition fails, and you can able to see that how much gas cost you are paying so here you will find the execution cost so whenever you write your smart contract you should always compare with all the statement of error handling that which one is high costing you higher amount okay in that you will find the required is the best option to go with okay so you can see here we have that and our logic this is the entire error the quotes you have got so hope this makes sense to all of you guys now let's come here and let's relate this contract and bring this terminal down and this is what we have here and what i can do so the, we are doing this check let's try to create one more function we'll say odd okay we're going to do, take the number value returns and we want to return boolean this time we're going to do a comparison so we'll take the condition so the input we are getting if we are doing this remainder if it's zero and if we do this okay so if this statement is true then we have to throw this true okay so that's the simple logic we have and that looks pretty good to me no more problem we have let's simply deploy the contract and here we have it simply mm, let's come here let's try to provide the number so this time i want to have a remainder so let's provide five and you can see here we got this call to require odd okay we have called the function if you open you can see this is the input we have given and the return we have got is true okay because we got a remainder so that looks pretty fine to me if you type 2 you can see this will give us false because the condition is failed okay the transaction is reverted you can see it's false so you can do hell lot of things you can do multiple things okay here we are checking for our conditions and simply executing the functions so that's the simple thing you have to keep in mind that you can do calculations you can pass argument you can pass conditions and check 
the data which you are receiving from the smart contract and any kind of validation you wanted to okay so hope this entire things makes sense to all of you that how you can use the required keyword in your solid smart contract to capture the error okay so, so let's move to the next video and that we're going to see a couple of more keywords to handle error in our solid smart contract so let's move to that